वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सक्सेस इंजीनियरिंग ऑफिशियल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द हॉट वाटर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द हॉट वाटर सिस्टम फॉर दिस आवर प्रोजेक्ट कमर्शियल ऑफिस बिल्डिंग सो एज यू कैन सी वी हैव डन फॉर दिस डोमेस्टिक वाटर सप्लाई पाइप साइजिंग टैंक साइजिंग एवरीथिंग देन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द हॉट वाटर सिस्टम दैट मीन्स दिस वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द हीटर कैपेसिटी ओके हीटर कैपेसिटी हॉट वाटर टैंक साइजिंग एंड देन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द हॉट वाटर पाइप ऑल्सो सो वी हैव वन फॉर्मेट ईयर आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द हीटर कैपेसिटी एंड हीटर किलो वाट हीटर किलो वाट एंड हॉट वाटर टैंक साइजिंग सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड वीडियो फॉर हीटिंग सिस्टम हॉट वाटर सिस्टम एंड सेपरेट वीडियो already i have uploaded on my channel how to calculate the heater capacity for five star hotel okay so please uh, go and watch that video i will give you the link i will give the description i will give the link in the description for uh, in the description for that video so please go and watch that video okay so for this our project our project is g plus 2 only commercial office building so how to calculate the heater capacity how to the tank sizing and how to do the pipe sizing for that okay so let us start now as you can see this is the simple format i have used for the five star hotel project so now uh, same uh, same format i am going to use here for office building office g plus 2 Office building, okay. So in this, you just uh, you can see here. This is the fixtures, uh, fixtures, uh, different types of fixtures, and this is the quantity and gallon per hour. GPS is nothing but gallon per hour per fixtures, okay. so you can see here this is the uh, fixtures so you have to check the how many fixtures because we are going we we need to calculate because uh, for each toilet uh, heater capacity separate separate because the each toilet is different different uh, placed at different locations so you have to calculate the four number of heater okay for each toilet separate so, and we have to place that heater inside the toilet so we have to uh, start from the ground floor ground floor change toilet okay so you can see here this hot water is uh, generally used for this lavatory and sink and shower okay this wc and hand spray hot water is not used so you have to look for this uh, lavatory so you can see this is the change toilet ground floor how many lavatories are there this 1 2 and 3 here is 4 so four lavatories only so what you will do simply enter here quantity fixtures this is the laboratory and public this is not uh, private so this is the public and number is 4 and gps gps in gallon per hour per fixture so for the gps you can see here this is hot water standard i have uploaded already this uh, standard on my drive so please uh, download it from there so you can see this is you can found here uh, you need to found here office building so you can see this is the office building okay so simply take this one this is the office building okay and now look for this laboratory so you can see here this is the laboratory public okay so this is laboratory public so you can see this table number 6 1 what is written here outside of this bracket in inside bracket you can see this is in liter okay and outside bracket gallon per hour per fixtures okay hot so, water demand per fixtures for various types of building gallons of water per hour per fixtures calculated at final temperature of 140 degree fahrenheit that is 60 degree centigrade okay 
so uh, in this uh, table you can see here this is a row a column and this is row so these two values are given here one is outside bracket and one is inside bracket so outside bracket value is in gallon and inside bracket value in liter okay liter of water per per fixtures and gallons per hour per fixtures so in this we need a gallon per hour per fixture so you can see here this is the base in public laboratories so look for this office building so you will find here 6 gallon per hour per fixtures so simply enter here 6 and then you will get here laboratory and uh, remaining is nothing so there is no other uh, fixtures here which uh, we are going to supply the hot water only laboratories are there so here is only laboratories okay four numbers and six gph so total demand is 24 gph okay so to calculate the storage capacity we need the probable demand and storage capacity factor so to calculate the probable demand there is one formula here you can see here probable demand is equal to total demand into demand factor so total demand is 24 to so simply change here this value 24 and demand factor for office building you have to go again this table and in this here you can see this is the serial number 19 demand factor look uh, in this office building what is the demand factor here is 0 0.3 okay you have to look like this this in this row okay in this column you have to look for this demand factor okay like this this one okay so this is your demand factor 0 0.3 0 okay simply change here 0 0.30 and then simply multiply these two value then you will get the probable demand okay so simply open this calculator 24 into 0 0.3 0 so 7.2 okay so here is gph is gph is nothing but 7.2 So this is already fixed on this formula based as I already applied the formula here so what you will do simply change the value here not here okay so demand factor is 0 0.30 simply change it here then it will automatic uh, applied here in this formula so see 0 0.7.02 see 7.20 and now we have to calculate the storage capacity of heater so storage capacity is nothing but the probable demand into storage capacity factor so probable demand how much we get 7.2 okay so simply change here okay 7.2 7.2 and uh, storage capacity factor you have to look again in this table this uh, v, uh, serial number 20 the storage capacity factor is 0 0.2 0 2 okay so this is your storage capacity factor which is a 2 okay simple enter here storage capacity factor 7 .2 into 2 Is building to okay so you have to change it here then it will uh, calculate by formula itself so this is already applied formula here you can see here double click then you will see here this is a uh, probable demand into a storage capacity is taken from this table okay so you have to enter here two okay so storage capacity is 14 14.4 GPM. Now we have to calculate the heating capacity. Uh, this is in gallon. So this much of 14.4 uh, gallon of gallon of uh, water heater is required. Okay. And then what will be the capacity of that heater? So 
to calculate the capacity there is one more formula you can see here this probable demand into conversion factor into a specific watt heat gravity of water into temperature difference divided by conversion factor to kilowatt so this is already applied on the formula so you have to change it here so this is a hot maximum hot water is 140 degree Fahrenheit as you can see here this is 140 degree Fahrenheit and the normal water is 60 degree Fahrenheit so conversion factor for uh, calculating in kilowatt is 8.3 and a specific gravity of water is 1 so this already applied on this formula so this kilowatt is 1.41 kilowatt okay so no need to change anything a probable demand into conversion factor so probable demand is uh, 7.2 here and the conversion factor is 8.34 and into a specific gravity of water is 1 and a temperature difference is 140 minus 60 divided by 3413 is nothing but the conversion factor to kilowatt okay so we are getting 1.4 kilowatt that is nothing but 1400 watt okay so 1400 watt heater is required so now what, what you will do how to design this how to draw it uh, we have to show you in this uh, i will show you in this next tutorial guys so we have to create one heater here and simply connect the piping and do the piping size okay so thank you for watching my video so please keep watching my next tutorial because uh, we are going to calculate the how to uh, we are going to do the pipe sizing and we are going to place this heater in this uh, our project okay so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye